It's been fun. So a lot of folks have asked about my pair, you know, how are they going? Especially after a year now, and especially after the fact that my uh, first pair were faulty. Go suss the video if you want the full spiel, but I believe it was the gizmos and the noise cancelling outputting gibberish. It took me ages to get another pair of these because they were sold out of the fugly green ones. I wanted the fugly green. And I finally got another pair thanks to the Apple Store at Rundle Mall. Thanks so much, guys. And to prove that I've been using these a lot, you can see the filth. <laughs> <laughs> I've left the filth intact to show them absolutely I've been using these heaps. And now you all want to know how it's going. But like you might have guessed from the title of this video that it's not gone all that well, eh? I know in the last video about these, I didn't really give them a full review. I mean, although I did go through all the stuff that I wanted to, you know, big stuff that I liked, stuff that I didn't. It was just overshadowed by the sadness. Sound-wise, I think they're awesome. I know audiophiles aren't fans at all because you don't need to spend this kind of money for this kind of sound. I've been playing around with the T60 RPs, not even for a video, this is just for me, and I love them. The wood makes them so light and they feel amazing, and you could get two pairs of these for the price of the Maxes. But these guys aren't in the same category. For instance, these are critical listening headphones. Open backs too, meaning all of the outside noise is allowed to go right inside. Your roommate's listening to S Club 7 again? Mate, you're gonna hear all of it. These are for sitting down in your easy chair and taking a music the same way you would say a movie, giving all of your attention, no phone in your hand, all glued to the content. These are convenience headphones about making the experience as easy as possible. Just put them on and off it goes. But mate, these are just headphones too. I mean, like, you, you just put them on, right? So I don't get it, what's so hard about that, eh? Well, these would like an amplifier to sound their best. Absolutely, you can run these out of your iPhone with one of those dingus dongles. But I don't listen to music very loud, and I can happily stand the volume of these at maximum out of an iPhone. <laughs> Forget ohms, man, these are just greedy. And what I noticed at those volumes, the top end was thin and nasty. It was like the hats were chopping at my ears. Ow, don't attack me. But out of a really nice amplifier, the high volumes, it was way more even and smoother. Yeah, they just want nice equipment. Well, these just want a Bluetooth signal and they do the amplification themselves. And I mean, that's the thing, on the topic of needing an amp, a lot of high-end headphones are insanely power hungry. If you ran them off of a battery, you wouldn't like long at all so Apple had to do like a really big jungle because they're really thin like, look at look at that and they're still cavernous it has to talk over Bluetooth has to be the amplifier has to have electronic noise cancelling on top of it and yet they're thin and have 20 hours of battery look how deep the ear cups are like you know forget how thin they are they're just cavernous holes for your ears to live in. It's even got adaptive EQ. It's constantly listening and adjusting the EQ to suit the area. And they are dang comfortable. Yeah, they're heavy, but all the weight is in the headband, which is stainless steel, which acts as an adjustment point because stainless steel is springy. Lots of little hinges in here and swivels that make them match up with your greasy face. This is a really weird looking headband, but dang it, it works. And the noise cancelling is sublime. I mean, <laughs> I've gotten dumped into a rental house under the airplane landing line. So it's just jumbo planes from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. So in other words, I can't always use open backs. It is obscene how loud planes are. And wow, these cut out so much of the noise. Quite often, I just wear these as electric earmuffs. Like literally, I just want to go for a walk and think in peace and quiet. And with that bonus, that people just leave you alone. Because I, <laughs> over is really sell that message to people. Or uh, that stupid case that this thing came with, the bra, the nappy, whatever you want. Um, I've never used it once. <laughs> After filming the last video, over a year ago, I just threw it over my shoulder and immediately lost it. Good riddance. You don't need that thing. So wow, mate, it sounds like it's been a dream gravy boat and there's been no frustrating downsides at all. There are times where these are too clever for their own good. Like, I make these videos on Macs. You know, funny enough, the first episodes of this channel were made on Windows. With a machine I built myself, thank you. I've come running and screaming from Windows. Like, <laughs> Mac for content creation is just genius. So yeah, I have a lot of Macs now. And say I'm listening to a podcast on my phone and doing some boring office work on the Mac, I will get constant pop-ups saying, Oh, you input Mac to the nearby. Oh, you input Mac to the, do you want to connect? Do you want to connect? Do you want to connect? Even when I click it off, 
it disappears again immediately and it won't stop. It got so annoying that I went into the Bluetooth settings and unsynced them from my Mac, but then I realized I unsynced it from my whole iCloud account. <laughs> so a lot of my frustrations with these comes from how I like to listen to music. And like, here's the weird twist for me. I never have music in the background when I'm doing stuff, never because I concentrate too hard on it. I was a full-time musician before COVID, right? And so, you know, every single day for me was just listening to music for other people. Every waking hour of my day was listening to music. So when I didn't have to, I choose not to. You know, I can't break those habits. So whenever I have background music on, all I do is focus on the music and I can't get any work done. <laughs> it's just how I am. I find when I do listening, I'll set aside some time. Like, okay, for 45 minutes, I'm gonna listen to an album in quiet. And I can be randomly inspired to do this, where it's like, oh, oh, oh quickly, I wanna listen to some music. I'll run and I'll grab some headphones and I'll sit down and then I'll have this stinking issue. Yeah, I just can't sync them. It just won't. And that's me like wiping them from my iCloud. That's me like holding down the buttons to reset them. The, the whole McGill. And honestly, by the time I finally get these working, I don't care anymore or I have to get back to the work that I was doing. This isn't just an AirPod thing. Lots of Bluetooth headphones have done this to me. So many of them assume that they're the only Bluetooth headphones you own, which is true of most folks. But when you have a few Bluetooth headphones, they can start fighting for power for your music and can start playing out of random pairs. Like, and another thing about these being too clever for their own good, they have sensors so they know when they're on someone's greasy head, right? I like to keep headphones I'm regularly using on a stand. It's fun to display stuff. These idiots will think they're being used. And so my iPhone will just send calls, podcasts, anything to it. And it kills the battery as well because they think they're being used. So yeah, I don't, I don't keep these on a stand anymore. When I come home, I go, well, I'm home. On the word of batteries, yes, you just need to have a spot or two in the house where you can plug these in. When you come home, you plug them in, you get a routine going to keep them juiced up. But I like to rotate between quite a few pairs, especially vintage pairs. Oh, mama mia. And every now and then, I'll just treat these like any old pair of headphones and I'll forget to charge them. It's so annoying to have that spontaneous, wow, I actually want to listen to music. And I'll come around, I'll grab, no, not today, buddy. They're flat. <laughs> I guess I'm just sick of everything have a battery in it now. Like my toothbrush has a battery. You know, like the Skull Candy Crushers that ruin people's speakers with the recordings they made for this channel. Sorry. When I did that episode, I had to charge them before filming because they sat for a week and they were dead. Oh man. And then there's Siri notifications. I remember being a self-employed musician and using my AirPods, Apple Watch, all of that to never miss calls and or texts and be right in touch with my work. To be honest, nowadays there are so many spam calls and spam texts that the phone is almost becoming useless no one cares anymore it's just free reign I could get 10 text messages of just fake spam like trying to get me to click links I never answer calls anymore there's just no point my rule is you ring I don't pick up you leave a voicemail I'll ring you back and the worst part about these was it was just beaming all of them straight to my ears I'll be listening to music you know stop right now thank you for bring, bring. I hate that Siri noise, like You have a message from Scam that says your Amazon account is being deleted. <laughs> yes, there are things and settings that turn them off, but by default, they're set to on. Or stuff like, I'm, I love going for big walks. That's why I like these so much. And maybe I'll have Google Maps running as just like a compass so I can just check to make sure I'm on the right track. And I always have the voice turned off. Don't talk to me. But then Siri will just give the directions instead. <laughs> Half of my last walk was wasted trying to make Siri go away. Oh my butt, sir. And I swear, after the full resets I keep having to do to keep these synced, a lot of those settings get flipped on to on again. All the gizmos really can just get in the way of listening to music. Well, the sound might be good, but the microphone is the stink. I, I've never heard a good mic from any Bluetooth things. Look, here's some KZs. Wow, it's got a microphone. It's like this one time, mate, I had this genius idea. I'm like, mate, I'm gonna make water filters. Like, people pay so much for them, hey? And I'm like, it's filtering water. How hard could it be? You just run it through something. Like, I don't want to spend any money, though. So I'm just gonna use old socks wrapped around a Bunnings hose, mate. And I'm just gonna call it filtered. And I don't see any dramas at all. It's so, like I've lost my bottled sock water business. And, mate, business is, like, booming. I can't believe it, mate. So much activity going on. Like, I can't even keep up, mate. As soon as I put fresh socks on, mate, I'm gonna take them off again. Do another batch, hey? Get the Bunnings hose out, mate. Uh, but, like...
you know, confession, like, you know, I'm, I'm just giving his stuff away, hey, like, I'm not asking for any money. And, like, all the customers just seem to be all these stray dogs, hey, like, they're just kind of, you know, playing around with the garden hose, hey. I'm not doing good, guys. I'm not doing good at all. Could you tell which ones were, like, tens of dollars versus almost a thousand dollars? Man, that's a cable for you. That's just what a cable can do. So yeah, Bluetooth headphones, you might pick them up and find that they're flat, they beam spam straight to your ears, maybe you just can't get them synced to nothing. But these aren't the reasons that I'm done with them. The, the reason is tiny, but it defeats a lot of purposes. While I'm going for walks, one of the hinges goes click, 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 click. It doesn't happen all the time, but it, it can be either ear cup. And when you've created this, you know, incredible space of quiet, thanks to that amazing noise cancelling, it is very noticeable. I mean, yeah, they're filthy dirty and I don't use them in their case, but I don't abuse these. But I kept using them, I mean, living under the planes and sitting around at home, it was okay. Until the clicking even started with slight head movements at home. <laughs> and you're all thinking, well, I should just get on the Apple and work out another pair. But this is my second pair already. I have 70s headphones that are still doing their job perfect. And these aren't even headphones that you can keep forever. The batteries that are in here will die. And not all Bluetooth headphones can work properly from just a cable. The Skull Candy Crushers, for instance, you can't get that stinky bass with just the auxiliary cable plugged in. It needs to have the bats working. And, you know, thanks to this channel, I've had a lot of experience of all these sort of different Bluetooth guys. And after all the syncing issues, the dead batteries, the crappy apps you need to use them with, Sony. Honestly, I'm really cooked on Bluetooth headphones. Now, I've been using Bluetooth headphones since AirPods 2. And then this channel allowed me to play with cool cabled ones. And at no point do I get frustrated about having to plug this in. I thought I would. I thought I'd just turn into a full convert for the wireless life. And every time I pick up a cable, I go, oh, that's old school. No, I pick up these and go, oh, a cable. That's reliable. A good cable doesn't make any noise. A good cable doesn't weigh a ton. It doesn't get all tangled. It's just reliable. Guys, we're gonna bring back the headphone jack. It's been a fun experiment, everyone, but we're gonna bring back the headphone jack. And a big part of this decision is that I've learned how I like to enjoy music, which is at home where I make a slice of time dedicated to it, same way we would watching a movie or whatever. So I don't need the ultra convenience. So I don't need to put up with the annoying Bluetooth arguments between devices. And it's a fun time to play with different music players. Really, the only Bluetooth guys I like dealing with is like the little Theo BTR5, which basically makes your cabled headphones wireless ones and <laughs> these little super nuggets I'm glad it's becoming a genre because there's finally competition I know I need to look at these I'm still looking at them there will be a video but where yeah they turn your cabled headphones into like super nuggets but I'm a freak and sometimes I like going back to my old iPod I upset audio files because I'm never chasing some sort of ultimate sound I chase a vibe and there's some days that smashing an album of mp3s out of an iPod is just really fun and it makes the high-end equipment sound better. The only Bluetooth guys that I'll probably keep around are the AirPod Pros. I mean they're like pocketable earplugs. I like how they sound, they're, they're small, you know, they don't make creaking cracking noises as I walk. But I'm probably just gonna start using cabled IEMs. I'm just sick of batteries and things, sick of it. But to everyone who owns these, they sound awesome. They are super comfortable. They are built extremely tough, except for the little thing that's making the clicking noise. And if you're having no troubles, then I'm envious. Look at the filth. We've had one heck of a time together and I'm done. It's been fun, but I'm done. Well, that's it. Thanks so much for watching, huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names on here, mate, because one dollar a month, I direct some videos, although I do have garbage time, I just uploaded a Frank video, ooh, she shed her skin, and drum stuff, and I do drum streams on Float Plane, if you want to see me live and yelling at things, but for you one dollar patrons, I'm a car guy, a car bore, as you would say, and um, Here's a Wheels magazine from 1978, and it's a big deal because this was launching the Holden Commodore, the first ever Holden Commodore. I actually had one of these as a kid. <laughs> XD Falcon didn't even look like that. So we're gonna flick through this old car, mate, because it's <laughs> it's amazing. So thanks so much, mate. I'll see you all next time. Look how peaceful it is. I'm so glad that long idiot isn't here to ruin this.
Just makes me so much happier, mate. Just every oh <laughs> Frank. Oh, can I just get ten minutes of peace from you, Frank?